Okay, what's up? Hey, I just want to make a video. I see a lot of videos online about how to hook up motion sensors to maglocks, and they seem a little complicated, which they don't have to be. So I want to make a video to simplify it for everybody, and um, this helped me, and I want to pass it on to you. So this is just a simple setup on how to hook a motion sensor to a maglock. So, um, I prefer the Bosch DS160 motion sensor over the Bosch DS150i, and I'll tell you why. It's because this one's simple. It's got simple inputs, simple outputs, really simple dip switches to control the relay timing on the DS150i it's the same thing but you got all these wires for monitoring and uh, door relays whatever and it really doesn't need to be that way for me motion sensors are just a global unlock for the maglocks so it should directly just hook into the maglock and you don't have to wire it on the controller unless you want to do a bunch of James Bond stuff, which for me, that's not something I want to do. So uh, for all intents and purposes, this setup I got here um, is going to simulate the power, the power supply. I got a 12 volt battery, five amp, and then I'm splitting it off using this um, using this splitter and uh, you can get this off Home Depot's website they're pretty nice to have I put one in each one of my controllers rather than uh, use their janky stuff so anyway so basically what you want to do is you got your mag lock this is just a simple 300 pound mag lock so you want the the um, negative wire coming to here, but the positive wire you want to go through your motion sensor. So here's the power coming into your maglock, and you want it in the common, the C. So then on the power going out to the maglock, you want it in the normally open which is the NO and then you want to hook it to there and so then this is just the power powering the uh, motion sensor and with motion sensors and mag locks 12 volts is enough so what we're going to do is plug this in this simulates the power supply so we got that hooked to the battery it takes a while for this motion sensor to finally program but as you can see, the maglock's engaged, so I pull that up and pull the maglock with it. Once that stops blinking, the motion sensor stops blinking, it means it's finally ready to receive input. And it, okay. And so you see it saw motion, and it let go of the thing it's really that simple to do so you don't have to run this directly to the door controller you can if you want to monitor stuff um, if you're really into the James Bond stuff this motion sensor is good for you because it monitors the door relays and stuff, like when the door was open, stuff like that. For me, I use motion sensors just as a global unlocking purpose for the maglocks. So I don't need to uh, wire all that into the door controller. It just does. The motion sensor just does it. But um, it's up to you. That's just a simple setup. And I hope this video helps you.